Hi, I'm Mike. I'm here at the Windy City Rails, uh, day two. I'm sitting here actually with Kevin Zolkiewicz, who is one of the organizers for Windy City Rails. And uh, in between sessions, he's taken a little bit of time to talk with us about why he's involved with Windy City Rails and, and how did you actually get involved with Windy City Rails? Well, I started working at Wisdom Group about mm -hmm. six years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and at the time, we were like a, we did mostly computer networking stuff and dealing with servers. Mm -hmm. A little bit of web, not too much. Uh, and then at that point, Rails was maybe like two years old. Um, so Ray, who's you know president of the Wisdom Group, he mm -hmm. tells the story often how just one day I told him, so did you ever hear this thing called Ruby on Rails? Yeah. And you know we sort of had a lot of interest in it. Mm -hmm. uh, Ray was really excited about it. And everything started with Chicago Ruby. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we were looking for, you know, is there any good meetups in the Chicago area? Mm -hmm. We started Chicago Ruby originally in the suburbs, then we expanded downtown. And the idea of, you know, why, why isn't there a Ruby on Rails conference in Chicago? So we figured, well, we could just do something simple. We'll do a one-day conference mm -hmm. on Saturday uh, and, you know, see how it goes from there. Yeah, it's, it seems yeah. to have been going pretty well. And now it's, yeah, this is our fifth year. We're now a two-day conference. Yeah. Uh, and I'm really excited about the progress that we've made. So, uh, you know, going from a, a one-day conference to a two-day conference, I mean, is it is it literally twice the effort for uh, for organization and getting everybody together? Or you know, it, it wasn't as bad as I thought mm -hmm. um, because yeah, there's some we, we do need to get more speakers. Mm -hmm. um, but as as luckily as the conference has got more well known, right. it's been easy for us to just go up to people and say, "Hey, you want to speak yeah. at Windy City Rail?" Yeah. Sure, it's a known quantity. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and, and most of the administrative stuff doesn't duplicate for mm -hmm. us. One of the big things that I need to make sure I handle the first day is registration, mm -hmm. making sure we have badges for everybody. But on the second day, you know, most people have already been here right. the first day, so there's just make maybe sure lights a, are on. yeah. yeah. Makes a few people maybe show up on the second yeah. day, but it's it's the second day is a lot simpler for us. So, okay. and you know, just going back to the user group aspect of it, you know, when you when you decided to create, you were looking for to see if there already was a user group from what you described, but you, you decided to kind of create your own where there where there wasn't. Was there anything going on with the there was uh, originally the in downtown Chicago? There was the Sherb okay. meetup group. Uh, and there, there was a, a group on Meetup that mm -hmm. we sort of came across that was running, I, I think it was like around maybe in Forest Park or around that area in the okay. western suburbs. Um, so the person who was organizing that um, decided to, you know, he wasn't, you know, able to devote as much time to it. Mm -hmm. So we figured, okay, well, we'll take that over. Uh, and then eventually over time, uh, there were some organizational changes going on at Sherb, yeah. and we decided to merge the groups together and make one large group. So now we have our main downtown meeting, but we still do a meeting in the suburb once yeah. a month as well. And I, are you are, are you guys? Is it like just different leadership, and you just like coordinate with each other for meetings, or like is it is it the same people running the downtown and the Chicago version? Uh, we kind of split it up, so yeah. um, we got a. A great couple, Dean and Tracy Pinnell, mm -hmm. who are doing most of our cyber meetings now, and then we've got a, a core group of people who handle our downtown meetings. Mm -hmm. uh, so just you know, finding speakers, mm -hmm. running you know the operations of it. Which, for luckily, a monthly meeting is a lot simpler than a yeah. conference. Yeah. Uh, we do like to record all of our conferences and get video out there. So mm -hmm. you know, we make sure we have somebody who's recording and editing and uploading. Okay, cool. And um, as far as like. The difference between you kind of said it's a lot easier to uh, run a, a monthly meeting versus a conference because I mean you have you said you have the audio video I mean the the, the rig that they have set up is is pretty intense yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and but but I mean you guys have kind of established kind of a rhythm though also I mean that's yeah. it, just the fact that you've been doing it so many times right. I mean like what each year do you usually have the same people working each yeah. year so you can and just kind of have a mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're really lucky to have people who are very talented mm -hmm. in what they do. So we've got really talented AV people, really talented IT. I mean, this new venue we're in is very nice, but it presented a huge challenge to us in terms of internet. Right. Because at the time, this place only had like a one megabit internet connection. 
and for 270 software developers, yeah, that, yeah, that wouldn't work power. out. So we, we had to do some crazy stuff with microwave, internet signals, and getting tons of extra equipment yeah. to get like a really reliable uh, internet connection for right. the venue. So is that, is that something you, you set up temporarily for the conference or is that something that's gonna be here? Uh, I, I don't know the exact specifics. I know we have equipment that we just yeah. sort of set up on the fly. Oh, okay. Um, but I, I think there's some bits of infrastructure that will make it a little bit easy for us next mm -hmm. year. Yeah. But yeah, that, that was one of our big challenges this year though. Yeah, no, that's interesting. I mean, we. You, you had to actually had to do some actual technical innovation, which is funny because we're actually a lot of technical people. You'd be surprised that, you know. Yeah. But uh, that, no, that, that's really great. So, um, as far as the, uh, the user group, do you have a lot of people that um, come from the user group? Do you see a lot of people in the audience here today that you've also seen at user group meetings? Is there seem to be like, if you've gone to Woody City Rails, you probably also go to Chicago Ruby and vice versa, or is it? Do you see a different type of audience? coming to the two different events. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of familiar faces that yeah. I see here from the uh, monthly events. But, I mean, we get tons of additional people for this as well. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, most of our, our meetups have grown lately. Uh, we usually get at least 100 people now at our downtown mm -hmm. one. And, you know, and just maybe a year or two ago, our average was closer to 50. Mm -hmm. So those are growing. And then, you know, we get this year we had 270 for Windy City Rails. So a lot of it is people who have been to Chicago Ruby. And then there's sometimes there's other people as well who maybe they're not involved in Chicago Ruby, but then they attend Windy City Rails, they hear about it, and then maybe they stop by the meetings. Yeah, and, and with, with having 100 people at a, regularly at a meeting, that's almost like a mini conference every month to be yeah. in and of itself. Yeah. I, I mean, is it the same people coming to those as well, or do you see a lot of turnover in that, those, that uh, the regular attendees? Do you see a lot? Should say, are you, are you seeing a lot of regular attendees month after month after month, or is it? Do you, are you seeing new people coming in all the time? Yeah, I mean, I'm always seeing new faces yeah. there. I mean, there's usually a few people that I always recognize who are there every month. But yeah, yeah I mean, there's people who they'll come one month and maybe they'll skip a month or two. Mm -hmm. um, and on our, our, we have our meetup organized through Meetup.com, mm -hmm. and I think our numbers are like at 1,700 registered people. As yeah. part of the Chicago Ruby meetup there, so I mean we don't get all of those people. I yeah. mean some of them may have they signed up three years ago and they never came to the meeting, right. but you know we we definitely get a good people each month that come out of that pool who attended the meetings. Yeah, and just looking back at uh, all the years, I mean I have to say Windy City Rails is one of my top conferences, uh, SCNA, Chicago Code Camp because I'm affiliated with that. But Windy City Rails is one that I come to almost every year since the second year. Um, or every year since the second year. Right. Um, do you have a favorite uh, like moments from a conf you know one of these conferences that like like wow that that really was something neat and special that happened at the conference that was some you remember from previous years? Well, I mean we've had a lot of good speakers come through through the years. Uh, I mean the improv that we had yesterday was yeah. pretty great. Uh, we we previewed that at one of our earlier conferences this year. Yeah. Uh, so it was nice to see that scale with a large audience. Uh, and I, I just love being at a conference and seeing people getting together and meeting people and communicating with each other. Because, I mean, that's at the end of the day, it's really what this is all about. Right. I mean, we get speakers here to give these talks, but it's the networking that people really enjoy. Yeah. And, you know, that's what we try to foster by making sure we have plenty of opportunities for people to meet people. Okay, well, again, thank you, Kevin, for sure. taking the time to speak. No problem.